European Parliament calls for a ban on facial recognition. Here's a summary of the article. The European Parliament today called for a ban on police use of facial recognition technology in public places, and on predictive policing, a controversial practice that involves using AI tools in hopes of profiling potential criminals before a crime is even committed. In a resolution adopted overwhelmingly in favor, MEPs also asked for a ban on private facial recognition databases, like the ones used by the controversial company Clearview AI. The Parliament also supports the European Commission's attempt in its AI bill to ban social scoring systems, such as the ones launched by China that rate citizens' trustworthiness based on their behavior. This is a huge win for all European citizens, said Peter Vitanov, the resolution's author. The non-binding resolution sends a strong signal on how the Parliament is likely to vote in upcoming negotiations of the AI Act. The European Commission's proposal of the bill restricts the use of remote biometric identification, including facial recognition technology, in public places unless it is to fight serious crime, such as kidnappings and terrorism. The AI Act's lead negotiator, Brando Benefe and almost all of his co-negotiators from other political groups in the Parliament have called for a blanket ban on facial recognition. This is in stark contrast to policies implemented in some EU member countries, who are keen to use these technologies to bolster their security apparatuses. This post received a score of 75,000, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. It's a bit of a MIS leading headline, unsurprisingly. Honestly, it's the second part of that quote that I'm interested in. Predictive policing is notoriously biased and works to confirm and exacerbate existing police prejudices. It really shouldn't be allowed. It has been shown that their prediction models are based on the current data, which are already biased towards POC and lesser economic stature. So it's say it's by design, by automating all this stuff we really are about to live in a minority report, 1984, Judge Dredd kind of future. Greater than so it's say it's by design. By automating all this stuff we really are about to live in a minority report, 1984, Judge Dredd kind of future. About, two, literal, Skynet, has been declaring people targets for drone strikes for years already. Thousands of people since the early 2000s, and it's even called Skynet. Wait, till you hear about a underscore totally not secretly evil underscore company called, Palantir. Ah Palantir isn't evil, it's merely a tool. It only gets corrupted when in the hands of an evil power. Shit. Peter Thiel is nothing if not self-aware. Talk to the hand. The white hand. In Brazil the government just built a huge database for facial recognition by taking driving license pictures and not a single person whose job is to protect the population made any opposition to it. Now people are getting arrested for simply looking like the suspect of a crime, just because a computer algorithm said that two faces matched and both police officers and judges are too stupid to know that a face match can at best be used as circumstantial evidence, to get a clue about the possible identity of the criminal, and not as justification for an arrest warrant to be issued. That's just a mild consequence of the misuse of facial recognition, but things can get much worse if the technology is used maliciously. Brazil is always a bad model for most things. That would be really great otherwise you will have it like Minority Report walk down in the city and each screen addresses you with name and says Hi John Doe we know you like XYZ go to blah blah and buy. And that's just the harmless stuff. I mean internet is like that nowadays anyway without the John Doe name. Targeted ads are doing exactly that. Yep that's why if we don't stop it you have not only on the internet, but every poster in town will address you with your search history imagine like hey John you have been at bar XYZ there is a similar bar around the corner that would be creepy as hell. There has to be a pushback against advertisers who are paying for all of this. I've started emailing companies when I get really creepy very targeted ads to say that I'm going to specifically not buy their product because of it. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.